What's going on guys and welcome to another Aquascape tutorial with me, Majestic Cichlids. In today's video, I'm going to be making an Aquascape that's a bit more challenging than the rest of the scapes I have done before by adding an extra little creative element. For this scape, we're going with a 30 centimeter cube. So this is a one foot long by one foot wide by one foot high tank that's 7.2 gallons and a great little tank for nanofish. If you want to see what fish will call this tank home, stick around and later on in the video, we'll introduce the fish to the scape. Today's hardscape of choice is going to be the classic Sirius Stone. Sirius Stone originates in Japan and quite possibly may be the most popular stone used in aquascaping history. It's known for its jagged texture, bluish gray color, and striking white calcite veins. It is also known in the Western Hemisphere as mini landscape rock because of its mountainous look. A quick fact about cereal stone is it is a rock that contains calcium and minerals that may harden and raise your water's pH a little, which can lead to algae growth, so water changes are key to remove the excess minerals from your water column, and the aqua soil will help buffer the pH down to keep a more neutral to acidic environment that is better for your plant's overall health. For substrate, we're going with what's been working great for me, aqua soil. Let's get started with getting the aqua soil in first as our nutrient layer and bank it up at the outermost edge. We're starting with the main stone or focal stone on the right side first. I then went with a smaller supporting stone on the left hand side. And now another small piece on the right hand side and so on and so forth. As you can see, it's sort of following some kind of line and it doesn't look great at the moment, to be honest. But I know once it's planted, this aquascape will come to life. To incorporate the element that I was talking about in the beginning of this video, I have to manipulate the aqua soil to create sort of a channel to keep everything in place.
creating a sand pathway is very tedious and time consuming, but it's something I've had on my mind and been wanting to do for a long time now.
filling up the tank just remember to do it slowly and take your time doing it too fast can kick up the substrate and make the water cloudy or murky Thank you.